Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Uh, so I just spent 43 minutes recording a video, <laughs> uploading it, and then right before it went live, just shutting it down. The reason being is that it was unprofessional. Um, it's 2020, it's May, I've got three books coming out, I've got many more being planned, and like it or not, comic book industry, I'm a publisher, you know. I'm actually one of the very few publishers actively working right now. Um, so the video was very, very 2017 Zach, which is fine, which can be fun, but 2017 Zach wasn't a publisher, wasn't a professional in the comic book industry, and wasn't speaking to uh, peers, uh, which would be other publishers. So uh, basically what happened is yesterday, uh, Comic Book News with Dan Shaheen had a... Um, live stream. It was with Steve Jeppe, owner of Diamond Comics Distributors, and this time it was with publishers. Last week, or a week or so ago, it was with comic book shop owners. Um, so the elephant in the room is Dan got angry at me, at me and then I stopped watching. Um, uh, we worked it out in emails, man to man, it's fine, everything's good. Um, but the problem, it's funny, I got yelled at in the middle, and 0% of my anger from the last video was about that. It just happens, whatever. Uh, my anger was with the passivity, passivity, the passiveness of the publishers involved. Um, they're in a live stream with a guy who has altered the agreements. But the body language and the tenor of the voice and kind of drove me insane. Um, this is a, uh, a pandemic, uh, the beginning of a recession, um, uh, possibly even a depression, although it looks like from the market indicators, the market is actually fair, fairly confident um, uh, that um, uh, we're going to pull out of this. But um, it actually kind of drove me insane. Two things filled me with rage. Number one, Heidi McDonald wrote a shill piece when what we are desperately in need of is actual journalism. We're really only getting journalism from ICV2 and a couple other sources. Um, uh, shill puff pieces are great for getting you invited to parties at conventions, but they're bad for the industry. They don't help anyone. What we need is actual journalism and we're not getting it. Um, so I definitely let my anger with that go a little crazy. The other thing is that this kumbaya bullshit needs to stop. If someone is cutting off freaking payment, they're cutting off oxygen. Imagine if for some reason your neighbor started taking, you know, all the, you know, it's, it's the same reason you put a password on your router. So your neighbors don't use up all your bandwidth. Steve Jeppy has decided to slow down the spice, slow down the freaking money going out to publishers and they're just taking it lying down. What really just kind of like rankled me was the passivity. They were just taking it. Like you saw on their faces, they had given up. They are t they are gonna take whatever they're given and they are just going to manage decline. I brought this up. I'm not exactly an expert in UK politics, but uh, this is a, a line um, uh, from Margaret Thatcher. She became prime minister, and the UK had a very rough time, uh, specifically after the, the Second World War. I mean, their economy was um, um, in recession most of the time for decades. And it had just become the reality. And Thatcher said that when she took the position, it had been a position in which you were to manage decline. Um, and you were trying to take people's expectations and get them lower, you know, the new normal. The, the new normal is a phrase that never means things are good or coming back. They're, they're, it, what it means is accept less forever. Um, and I don't accept that. Uh, I've, uh, I've been targeted for destruction by the bullies and cowards in the industry for speaking out of turn, uh, for being uh, occasionally rude, but mainly for not going with the consensus. What filled me with rage during this uh, uh, live stream was just everyone just agreeing. They were agreeing. They couldn't agree harder. 
any harder. In fact, the only force was with the agreement. Everything, every time someone spoke, they just rubber stamped what the other person had spoke. People who had previously been firebrands like Gary Groth, all they got was a little, just very, just tepid sarcasm before agreeing that they were just going to go along because they had no choice. And Jeppy's attitude was quite different. It was, um, I don't know if I'd call it antagonistic, but he actually used the phrase stay in your lane to boom publisher Ross Ritchie. Um, it's not the thing to say when your single point of failure has collapsed the industry. I mean, you should be, you know, me in mea maxima culpa mode. And it was very interesting that the, the power dynamic I even uh, put in the chat. Um, uh, and uh, Gary from Nerdrotic seemed to uh, agree. I said, am I crazy or is the attitude of Steve Jeppy quite different? And people kind of theorized that it was the power dynamic was different. Uh, Jeppy really, really needs the comic shops, uh, but the publishers really, really need Jeppy. Um, so, uh, you know, he was, uh, he was not that super charming granddad that he was in the last live stream. He basically told people, Hey, just accept what you're given. I'm in charge. Stay in your lane. Um, he had some line in there that, you know, nobody's going to be happy without diamond. I don't want diamond to go away. I think there's a lot of good people that work at Diamond. They have a lot of continuity. They know everyone. But going back to a single point of failure, going back to a monopoly, and monopolies are never benign because they eliminate choice. They also eliminate um, uh, accountability. Uh, like I've told before, you know, me and a, a former business partner, we spent a year and a half and 10000 plus dollars on a comic book about a battle during the Korean War. And we got into Diamond, and then when the catalog came out, it said 20 pages for $20, and it absolutely destroyed us. Uh, I don't think I read a comic for about a year afterwards. Um, and it was, uh, uh, we had no one else to go with. It was a single point of failure. It was, it was a supposedly benign monopoly, and it absolutely killed us. Um, and all I've heard, you know, for 20 years is complaints about Diamond, and now all I hear is, passive agreement about how amazed balls they are stop being so weak you know the collapse of diamond their decisions have led to you having less food on the table you having less money you having to lay people off get angry stop agreeing with everyone stop being agreeable you're going to be agreeable right into your freaking grave all i saw you know for the most part from these publishers was weakness and passivity and just tired. They just seemed bloodless. But like I said, it's different. These people are my peers. Um, uh, these other publishers are my peers. So I'm not going to attack them, but I'm like, get angry. Get mad. Get your heart pumping. Get some freaking adrenaline. Get some freaking endorphins. Not from, you know, the, the, the low level of, you know, agreeing, you know, getting, you know, uh, 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 approval, but get those endorphins from you know that that you know that hot blood of you know taking your enemy and just gnawing their freaking throat at because they showed weakness. I am going to press my advantage as much as I can. I'm going to take as much of the money that would have gone to these people as I can get, and I'm going to continue doing it forever. And this should be a wake up call. You are not a freaking you know you are not in a pen. You're not livestock. You're a hunter. Or at least you should be. That's that's the attitude you get. I, I'm, I'm up at 4.30 in the morning pitching ideas to myself. I got this great idea. It's called uh, uh, <laughs> Do What You're Told. The Ballad of No. I'm not sure, actually. I, I have to think about it. It's a really cool story, but it's a little on the nose politically, so I'll probably not do it for that reason. But I'm in it to win it. I'm here. When you guys are laying people off, I'm hiring the people you lay off. When you're cutting books, I'm adding books. And your passivity is doing nothing but managing your own decline. So I'm glad I made this. You know, like it, it could be fun to curse and all that type of stuff, but I don't, I'm not really sure that it helps. Uh, all I can say is to my peers, get your blood pumping because people are relying on you to put you know, food on the table to pay their rent. And the, the, just sitting back and just waiting, 
It's not going to do that. Get mad, get angry, get active. I'm working seven days a week. I'm working until 2.30, 3 in the morning. I wake up, I check emails. Just work, work, work. I've never been busier. And y'all are just sitting back with your little sad Disney eye. There's money to be made out there. It's definitely money to be made. So, so get back in the game. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe, the Patreon, and Indiegogo. You're funding original content and an original lawsuit. Links are in the description. And I will have more new and old comic book reviews and industry analysis all this weekend. Thanks. Bye.